how to effectively administer shutout teat sealant in your dairy. Pre-application. Assign a dry, clean, and well-ventilated place with enough light for drying off cows. Make sure you can work comfortably and have planned a sufficient amount of time for dry off, approximately three minutes per cow, to avoid rushing through. Collect all materials needed before drying off. Needed are alcohol-containing teat wipes or disinfectant and cotton wool, rubber gloves, double or triple layered paper to clean and dry teats, a trash can, the dry-off antibiotic and teat seal syringes, teat dip cup, and teat dip. To avoid stress for the animals, handle them patiently and calmly. Make sure the area where cows are going after dry-off is clean and dry, and put fresh feed in the feed bunk to ensure cows will keep standing up for at least 30 minutes after dry-off to allow the teat sphincter to close. Make sure each quarter has been thoroughly milked. Application. Put on rubber gloves and remove visible dirt from teats. Replace or disinfect disposable gloves when dirty. Keep syringes clean and dry. Very cold syringes may be difficult to empty, so they may need warming before use. Check syringe storage and temperature. Should be stored at room temperature, 15 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. In very cold temperatures, shutout may become difficult to administer and should be warmed to room temperature. If there is a need to warm syringes, the shutout bucket could be lowered into a distinct 20-liter bucket filled with warm water. Do not immerse individual syringes in water to warm them. Wash and dry teats if dirty. Disinfect each teat, mainly teat ends, starting with the furthest teat, then the closest. Wait for 30 seconds, repeat the disinfection, and wait 30 seconds again. Remove the cap from the syringe by hand. Do not do this with your teeth, as this may contaminate the tip. We recommend to use the short tip to allow for partial insertion in order to lower the probability of new infections and infuse the tube content into the teeth. To apply shutout, pinch each teat with one hand at teat base because it aids in positioning the shutout paste in the teat canal and inject the syringe with the other hand. Apply shutout starting on the closest teat, opposite order of cleaning. Leave small quantity of sealant in the teat canal as you remove the syringe. Do not massage shut out teat sealant into the udder. Dip all teats with a post-milking teat disinfectant. Do not remove shut out by milking the cow either by hand or by milking machine. Post-application. Distinguish each cow. Mark cows, for example, with tail tape. Do not allow cows to lie down. Pen cows with fresh feed so they do not lie down for at least 30 minutes. Record cow number, treatment, and date in your management system or medicine book. 